in trying to resolve the mistake, you, you find something completely new. And Einstein, the greatest physicist of the 20th century, he made lots of mistakes. But I like the EPR. Isn't the EPR paper that led to Bell in a well, sense? Well, that's that quantum also, mechanics. Yeah, yeah, but it, but yeah. that's right. But even before that, I mean, he he was he he didn't believe in the expansion of the universe until it was demonstrated. He didn't believe in black holes until they were discovered 50 years later, um, and of course he didn't believe in quantum theory. So Einstein was often wrong, but but that doesn't matter because even when he was wrong, I mean, he, one of his biggest mistakes was to say. Um, when he had his Einstein's field equations of general relativity, he put in a cosmological constant, mm -hmm. which is a repulsive term, in order to make the universe static, because he thought the universe was static. Then they discovered the expansion of the universe, this was 1929 or whatever, and he said, oh my goodness, I've made a huge mistake. And he said the cosmological constant was his biggest blunder because Turns if, he out hadn't, he was right. <laughs> yeah, if he hadn't made that blunder, uh, he could have predicted the expansion of the universe. Uh, but then in, in 19, you know, 70 years later or whatever it was, the they discovered the universe was accelerating because there is a cosmological constant. Wow, yeah, that's <laughs> so, amazing. So his, biggest Dark blunder, energy. <laughs> so his biggest blunder was not actually saying there was a cosmological constant. His, his biggest blunder was saying that the cosmological constant was his biggest blunder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so and, yeah, that's so nice, you never yeah. know what's going to be. Things are unpredictable. Sometimes your mistakes are more helpful than your, yeah. what you do correctly. 